Hi everyone. So in the in the last class we have detailedly discussed about what is uh, geomorphic process, the endogenic and exogenic forces. Then we have detailedly discussed about the fluvial landforms, both erosion and <coughs> deposition. Then we have detailedly detailedly discussed about aeolian landform. That means the arid, the desert landforms. Okay, mushroom rocks, zeisens, yard dunks, and depositional landforms like. Uh, the Bachan, Seafs, the Sand Dunes, Lewis Plains. So, we have detailed discussed about fluvial and aeolian landforms, both erosional and depositional. Now, in the present class, we will discuss about the glacial landforms. So, we will start with glacial landforms and we will also cover karst topography and at last we will cover marine landforms. Okay. So, first is starting with glacial landforms. So, what is a glacier? Big form of ice mana inflow fridge lagu don't have Deep fridge letter rice on the See, in the high elevated regions like Himalayas, Alps, or in the Arctic or Antarctic region, snowfall, the precipitation takes place in the form of snow. So, as a result, what happens? The ice accumulates. Okay. And this <coughs> ice, when it accumulates under the influence of gravity, moves down. So, the movement of ice is called glacier. Okay. So, a glacier movement is very slow. Reverse like a faster move. Right? Glaciers are very slow, very slow movement. So, what? So, when these glaciers move, they form different type of landforms, both erosional and depositional. So, that is why we detailedly study about glacier landforms. But the point here is the glacier landforms, we are not familiar with glacier landforms because we do not live in the Tem either Arctic region or the high altitude regions. Okay. We, we are very much familiar with the fluvial topography. Why? Because the, uh, we can see the features surrounding us. Okay. So, each landform will be discussed in detail with pictures. Okay. And the terms related to this glacial landforms, which are difficult to dive actually German names. Okay. Two three times repeated at Savadam Mala, Guttuvet Kodamla, easy ga catch up. And however, as I told you, just you have to remember what are erosional and depositional names are enough. Two lines about that is enough. Okay? Right. So, what is glacier? So, glaciers are the bodies of ice formed from repeated movement of snowfall, and this will move. Getting my point? So, the gravity causes the glaciers to flow down the hill. The name is glaciers. There are types of glaciers that are important. So, first starting with glacial land from flow, first we will start with erosional features. First one, Cirk. German name Cirk. C I R Q U E. Cirk. Okay. Simple. What is Cirk? How it forms? Look at this picture. You know that the glacial moves downhill under the influence of <coughs> gravity. So, if you have any doubt, sir, how glacier will create erosion and deposition? If you have doubt, go to home, take ice from your refrigerator and rub ice with on your skin. What happens? And <laughs> glaciers has Erosion capacity, nothing but glaciers are nothing but ice, right? The movement. So, when this ice move down the hill, it will create erosion. Okay, disintegrate JC, apparently it will carry. You can see like this. And at the end, it will form a depression like this. On the mountain, a depression like this. And this is called as Sirk. Or it is also called the Kori Gudantar. Most common name is Sirk. So, how it forms? <coughs> How Sirk forms? This is imagine this is Himalayan mountain. Okay. And what is moving down the hill? Glaciers. Okay. So these glaciers will create a hmm. 
depression like this and this depression is nothing but so so whenever the ice melts it forms into water and forming cirque lakes so cirque artha mein cirque is nothing but just like how we scoop the ice cream depression form aitadu kada i assume same atlane glaciers when they move downhill it will create a depression called so clear okay so sometimes when this depression deepens and form uh, in between the mountain at basically the wherever there is continuous chain of mountain it is difficult to pass the mountain or no? cross the divide but because of this formation of the cirques repeated formation of cirques what happens a gap is formed this is called coal or pass so in himalayan when we discuss about the himalayan geography we will we'll study about the important passes in the country okay right anyways you, you understood what is the cirque right next moving to atis atis or atis it's a german term okay e r e t e s arid no what is an arid simple very simple can you see the sa- sharp edges like this okay what happened initially the structure of the mountain will be like this okay but because of the repeated formation of cirques like this sharp edges will form in between like this can you see so nothing but the sharp sharp ridges on a mountain formed because of the glacial erosion then it is called as art so what is art is so art is a narrow ridge of rock which separates two valleys and uh, this valleys are b- sharpened by the cirques okay so it will form it when it will form art is are typically formed when two glacial cirques erode sharp edge will form in between clear so this is not these are nothing but mountain so basically the mountaineers use this edges to climb the mountain basically the climb mountain climbers use this artist to get to the peak of the mountain so this is called peak so himalayas mottam it is completely covered with ice right so in himalayas you find this kind of structure so your mount everest is also this kind of mountain so it very difficult to climb the mountain from the other side so that's why they use uh, the mountain climbers use this artist to get to the peak and this is called pyramidal peak pyramidal peak okay clear can you see this is the pyramidal peak this is artist this is what is this sir this is artist this is pyramidal peak clear okay core your cirque so got the point so this core is nothing but cirque depression caused by the glaciers this artists are nothing but the sharp edges of the mountain ridges basically caused by formation of this cirques and what is a pyramidal peak the top point of the mountain is called pyramid so that we call mount everest the highest peak of himalayas okay so there are peak many peaks in the mountain peaks in the himalayas nanda devi annapurna mount everest kanchenganga a k2 is a mountain peak but it is not in himalayas it is part of karakoram i'll explain that when we discuss about the indian jungle okay next horns horns means what in telugu it is kommulu right so sharp pointed peaks is nothing but uh, horns went to these things so similar to the artist like this so what is that here if there are three or more radiating glaciers until their cirques meet high sharp pointed and the rounded cirques in the meet a lopu 
ఒక చిన్న ఎడ్జ్ లాగా ఫామ్ అయింది హార్న్ మోర్ ఆర్ లైక్ సిమిలర్ టు ఆర్టిస్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇన్ రివర్ ఇన్ రివర్స్ యు సి వి షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ రైట్ ఇన్ గ్లేషియర్స్ వి సి యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ ఇన్ రివర్ వ్యాలీస్ ఆర్ విచ్ షేప్డ్ జనరలీ వి షేప్ ఇన్ గ్లేషియర్స్ వాట్ యు సీ ఈస్ యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ కెన్ యూ సీ దిస్ ఈస్ యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీ ఇన్ రివర్స్ యూ సీ వి షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీ వాట్ యూఆర్ సీయింగ్ ఈస్ యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీ నా రైట్ నా హౌ దిస్ యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ సి వెన్ ద గ్లేషియర్ మూవ్ యు నో దట్ ది గ్లేషియర్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఫాస్ట్ మూవింగ్ థింగ్ ఓకే ఇట్ మూవ్స్ వెరీ స్లోలీ సో ఇన్స్టెడ్ ఆఫ్ డూయింగ్ వర్టికల్ ఎరోజన్ ఇట్ విల్ డూ వర్టికల్ ప్లస్ లాటరల్ ఎరోజన్ సో దాట్స్ వై యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ అర్థమవుతుందా రివర్ అయితే వి షేప్డ్ ఎరోజన్ ఎక్కువ చేస్తుంది డౌన్వర్డ్ బట్ గ్లేషియర్స్ మూవ్ స్లోలీ రైట్ సో ఇట్ విల్ ఎరోడ్ సైడ్స్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ డౌన్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దాట్ యూ సీ యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ సో యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీస్ ఆర్ ద బెస్ట్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఆఫ్ ఏ గ్లేషియల్ వ్యాలీ getting my point so whenever the ice melts it forms into a lake also clear u shaped valleys so what is a u shaped valley so glaciated valleys are trough like trough means depression which is wide and bottom is flat then it is called u shaped valley right you properly can see it up sir you may get it out sir ఇక్కడ అన్ని చెట్లు ఉన్నాయి ముందు వేసాను అంటే ఒకప్పుడు ఐస్ ఉండేది ఆ స్ట్రక్చర్ ఫామ్ అయింది తర్వాత ఏమైంది క్లైమేట్ మోడరేట్ అయింది సో ట్రీస్ గ్రో అయింది ఇఫ్ యూ రిమెంబర్ టెన్ థౌసండ్ ఇయర్స్ అగో దిస్ టెన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ థౌసండ్ ఇయర్స్ ఇట్ వాస్ ది ఎంటైర్ ఎర్త్ వాస్ ఇట్ ఇన్ ది ఐస్ ఏజ్ ఓకే సో బేసికలీ యూ ఫైండ్ దిస్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ త్రూ అవుట్ ది వర్ బట్ ది ప్రజెంట్ గ్లేషియర్ ల్యాండ్ ఫామ్స్ యూ ఫైండ్ ఫ్రెష్ వన్ మోర్ ఇండికేటివ్ Okay, so this is how uh, U-shaped valleys form. Next, hanging valleys. Hanging valleys. So what we are discussing, these are all erosional features. Hanging valley. Hanging valley. So what is hanging valley? So yesterday, when we discussed about river, I told you that the main stream of the river flows like this. and this river is added with other streams called tributaries similarly this is u shaped valley okay now this the main stream of the ice is going in that part so u shaped valley is formed so apart from the main stream of the ice moving from sides also small streams of ice move and join the main stream and they form hanging valleys ardhamutunda సో మెయిన్ స్ట్రీమ్ గ్యా గ్లేషియర్ స్ట్రేట్గా మూవ్ అవుతుంది సేమ్ రివర్కి ఎట్లా పక్క నుంచి స్ట్రీమ్స్ వచ్చి యాడ్ అవుతుందో దీనికి కూడా చిన్న స్ట్రీమ్స్ ఆఫ్ ఐస్ వచ్చి యాడ్ అవుతుంది సో అవి ఫామ్ చేసేదాన్ని ఈ దీన్ని ఏమంటాం హ్యాంగింగ్ వ్యాలీ ఇది యూ షేప్డ్ వ్యాలీ అంటే మెయిన్ స్ట్రీమ్కి సైడ్ నుంచి యాడ్ అయ్యే వాటిని ఏమంటాం హ్యాంగింగ్ వ్యాలీ ఇక్కడ కనిపిస్తుంది చూడండి పిక్చర్లో ఇది మెయిన్ స్ట్రీమ్ ఓకే ఇదేంటి వాట్ ఈస్ దిస్ this is hanging valley understood so this is main stream this is hanging valley Are, got my point children this is main glacier valley this is hanging valley ikkade mana generally melt ayina appudu waterfall laga form ay chance next most important one fissure 6th one what is that fissure fissure okay so fissured is nothing but a narrow depression narrow depression formed by the movement of glacier chudandi u shaped valley broad ga untadi chudandi narrow ga undi so what is a fissure fissure is a long narrow and sides are gentle unnaya steep unnaya steep 
So water fissure, fissured is a long narrow and steep sided inlet created by glacier, right. Now, now how this water enter into this narrow inlet? So whenever this narrow steep sided structure formed by the glacier is one side it is connected with ocean water, water will, will enter into this. Fissured and tainty, narrow steep sided structure formed by the glacial erosion and one side the structure is connected to ocean water and hey, glaciers ocean they are not together. So ocean water will enter into this place. So it is a like kind of an inlet. So as a result you can see this beautiful structures like this. Getting my point? Fissured and tartham in the end fissured and fissured is a narrow steep sided inlet created by glacier. So they are formed where the lower end of the steep, one end of this very deep glacial, it is filled with water. Getting my point? So it, it most commonly seen in Norway, Norway Arctic region, Chile ki uh, Pacific region, Pacific Ocean, New Zealand ki uda Pacific Ocean. So it like ocean water narrow deep started as a glacier to form and the water inlet as a fissure. So we chat shoot and chala beautiful one time. Manchi tourism spots in the country, boat escon mana lopala, mountains mother steep ka lopal kelipoch. Getting my point? Fizzots. So it normal structure in the ice on the ice wall in the steep structures already in the steep structure nunchi ocean water lopal can add a churani, mother on the gaps. This is normal structure. Ice glacier mood on the light form movement of the glacier, it depressions are formed. Now, when the sea water enter into these depressions, what is this narrow steep sided? So, beautiful location for tourism. What my point? Okay, and then connected on the ocean water. So, this got it? Fizzles. So, here main question is water fizzles. Yeah. Next, seven. Ronch Mountain, Ronch Mountain or Ronch. These are all German names, okay? Right. So, glaciers are so big, right? So, even they also move on the hills. Hills ni guda dati pogal thing. Chala ped amount of like some several meters varaku thickness of ice untadu okka koncham inta layer gaadu indi inta pedda layers undi endukante years nunchi deposit aina snow anta move avutadu kabatti so even ikkada ee structure chudandi ee structure chusina appude endi evaro geesinattu kanipistunda it looks like as if someone has scratched this mountain who has scratched this ice glacier movement ayind anedi oka symbol Atlantic Manaki throughout India, throughout the world places, low, the glaciers undavo, wherever there is more glaciers also, in that part also you can find this. This is called glacial striations, the scratches by glaciers. That means it, it also indicates that thousands of years ago, uh, the entire world was covered with ice. Okay. Right, anyways. Now, what is around the mountain? See, this is a mountain. Here, one side the glacier is moving in this, this direction. So, when glacier is moving on the direction, this side will become smooth because, because of that scratching, one side of the mountain will become smooth. Now, when the glacier moves downhill on the other side, akaduna erosion yes, sir. One side it will be smooth, other side it will be plucking. This is called Ronch Mountain. What is Ronch Mountain? So it is a resistant residual rock. Striated means azaltro, scattered by the mountain movement. So the upstream side is smooth. The upstream side is smooth. By abrasion means it's scratching. And its downstream side is rough. In the country, uh, uh, debris dani rocks dani plunges for input. One side smooth, other side rough. This is nothing but a Ronchi mountain. Ronchi mountain is an erosional feature of glacier. So wherever there are mountains in the glacial path, movement path, and upstream side it is smooth, and downstream side is rough. 
why on one side it will be scratching other side plucking clear ardhamana what is ranju mantra next depositional features depositional features moraines okay so chinna appudu meer where your kids iskalo meer aadukuntaru kada iskalo appudu appudu edana wooden plank lanti unte danni itla rub chestam rub chesina appudu em aitundi sides ki koncham ettuga sand form aitadu avuna so whenever you la sand unda ani ippudaithe meer oka hard rock edana wooden la plank tho gaani stone tho rub chesina appudu pakkana దాని ముందు కొంచెం ఎత్తు స్ట్రక్చర్ ఫామ్ అవుతాయి అవునా అంటే అక్కడ వరకు మనం స్క్రాచ్ చేసినప్పుడు ఆ వుడెన్ ప్లాంక్ ఏదైనా కానీ స్టోన్ కానీ ఇట్ విల్ ప్లక్ సెడిమెంట్స్ చిన్న చిన్న శాండ్ పార్టికల్స్ ఇట్ విల్ క్యారీ అండ్ డిపాజిట్స్ అండ్ సైడ్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ దట్ ప్లాంక్ ఇమాజిన్ చేసుకోగలుగుతున్నారు మీరు సేమ్ థింగ్ గ్లేషియర్ కూడా క్యారీ చేస్తుంది గ్లేషియర్ కూడా డౌన్ స్ట్రీమ్ వస్తుంది కదా దాంతో పాటు క్యారీ చేసిన సెడిమెంట్స్ని వెన్ ద గ్లేషియర్స్ మూవ్ డౌన్ స్ట్రీమ్ ఇట్ క్యారీస్ సెడిమెంట్స్ విత్ ఇట్ it will deposits on sides and front sometimes in in between also sides front and in between and they are called moraines so what are moraines Mo- moraines are sediments e glaciers ni uh, glacier sediments ni tills antaru t i l l tills glaciers no? so the the material the unsorted material where with the which the glacier cand is called till so when this glacier move along with it when the glacier move it will carry the sediments with it so it will it, you can see it is depositing on sides the downstream side and in between so this sediments carried by glacier are deposited on sides and middle and at the end they are called moraines sides ki deposit just if it deposits in the sides it is called lateral moraines if it deposits in center part it is called terminal uh, sorry, uh, sorry medial moraine end terminal end is terminal right we, we say so when you travel in hyderabad metro when you go to elvinagar last stop it says that train terminates here end point right anyways so what are moraines the sediments the un- unsorted rocks boulders sediments carried by the glacier and it deposits on its sides they are called lateral moraines middle middle moraines and turn that's it okay that's it nothing more than you can see you can understand now lateral moraines terminal moraines the end moraines that's it next outwash claims outwash claims so what is outwash claim so outwash claims are formed at the foot of the mountains okay so when the glacier moves downhill under the influence of gravity it carries sediments but when it comes to the foot of the mountain all the sediments it will deposit it right now sometimes the ice will turn into water by melting it turns into water now all this water will spread that sediments in that area making a plain that is my point in japtrano so glaciers carry sediments with it and it will deposit at the foot of the mountain so sometimes the glaciers melt or sometimes it will become glacier fluid and a complete and ice like one water glacier mix lot of so this whatever the debris it has been carrying all this will be spread in the downhill making a vast plain area called as out wash plains get my point okay so out wash plain is a plain that is formed at the foot of the glacial mountain okay 
they are made up of fluo glacial sediment that means fluo means water glacial mix sediments and washed out from the thermal moraines to get the moraines is debris and it is spread over in that region forming a plain there that is called outwash plain you can deposition are with the deposition plain moraines also deposition outwash also deposition that's why they are called deposition landforms okay you can see foot of the mountain they are this question are deposition and the spread like a plain lava forming this is called outwash plain consistent in that means name by pipe but you got like water away water flowing Students, I mean, I passport like one day, world tour, you have to glacier, you have to desert, you have to. Whenever, when we discuss about the world map pointing, I will take you to all the places of the world. Right. Next small concept, kettle, kettle, kettle lakes, kettle lakes. The kettle lakes, I mean, they also seen in the glacial landform region. How it forms? Simple. When the glacier moves, it has huge rocks of ice. Okay, so all the sediments will be deposited along the ice. After some time, what happens? The ice will melt and it will form into water. It forms a depression. Now, depression is generally the depression filled with water is called lake. So, when the ice part gets separated from the main glacier, it is surrounded by, so the block of ice is dropped by the glacier. So, ice blocks become surrounded by the sediments and ice block when melts it forms into a kettle lake. This is how kettle lakes depressions are formed. This is kettle lake and the elevated part is called kamen. Depression is called kettle lake. Clear? Next, escars. Third one, S1. Right. What is escars? So, when I will show you. When glacier move, okay, when glaciers move straight. Uh, in, not in the straight direction, in a particular it will move in one direction, the upstream side. Okay. So, when the glaciers move one side, it will carry sediments with it, beneath it. So, when the glacier move, it will carry sediments along with it, where beneath it. So, wherever the glacier will flow, uh, move, it will deposit the uh, what sediments in its path. Okay, and when the glacier melts, all the deposited structure will form a long longitudinal structures like this. They are called as escars. So, what are escars? Escars is a long widening ridge of stratified sand and gravel. So, see sand, ni gravels, ni sediments, ni carriages of the glacier. So, along whenever it go, it will carry along with it beneath it. Okay, when once the glacier melts, it will form a structure. And it is easy to understand that the glacier, once upon a time, the glacier moved in this direction. So, the long ridges like the structure formed by the sand and gravel, by deposition of the sand and gravel of glaciers is called escars. Same Polangatla Gantisa, escars. Okay. So, example of Ayadu, in Telugu, they are called Polangatla. Kanpisa, you make understanding. Okay. So, escars are the long widening sinus ridge of stratified sand and gravel, stratified and layered. Okay. So, if we several kilometers on there, just like a railway track. Okay. So, what are they? Escars are glacial depositional landforms. So, they are long winding ridge of stratified sand and gravel. That is several kilometers long and 2-3 point graph of type. Okay. Na? So, this is the perfect picture. So, when the glacier is moving beneath the hill, you can see the ridges and when glacier is gone, this can Example, Bomba Yupichi, the end of the 
ఎస్కర్స్ అంటే ఎస్కర్ ఏంటి అని ఒక షార్ట్ నోట్ రాయమంటారు ఎస్కర్స్ అంటే ఆ వాట్ యూ కెన్ వాట్ విల్ రూ డూ ఫస్ట్ ఎస్కర్స్ అని పిలిస్తే ఎస్కర్ ఇస్ అన్ డిపోజిషనల్ గ్లేషియల్ ల్యాండ్ ఫామ్ ఓకే సో దెన్ యూ విల్ డ్రా డైగ్రామ్ అండ్ మార్కింగ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అన్ ఎస్కర్ నో విల్ స్ట్రై టు డిఫైన్ దాట్ వాట్ ఇస్ అన్ ఎస్కర్ ఎస్కర్ ఇస్ ఎ లాంగ్ వైడనింగ్ రిడ్జ్ ఫార్మ్డ్ ఆఫ్ శాండ్ అండ్ గ్రావెల్ సెకండ్ పాయింట్ దెన్ హౌ దే ఆర్ ఫార్మ్ సార్ దే ఆర్ సెవరల్ కిలోమీటర్స్ లాంగ్ అండ్ హౌ దే ఆర్ ఫార్మ్ ద స్ట్రీమ్ అండర్ నీత్ ది క్యారీస్ ది దేషియల్ స్ట్రీమ్ క్యారీస్ ది కోర్స్ మెటీరియల్ అండర్ నీత్ ఓకే లైక్ బౌల్డర్స్ బ్లాక్స్ శాండ్ గ్రావెల్ ఓకే అండ్ ఇట్ ఫార్మ్స్ ద డిపోజిషన్ బెడ్ అంతే అయితే getting my point clear yeah. next drumlins so that's why apart from teaching i also providing my own notes to you so that you can easily revert re- so that's why i've shared your all the material to your email address right anyway next drumlins drumlins this is also called as in bracket right egg basket topography egg basket topography egg basket la ganpisthundi egg basket topography egg basket ante telusu kada meeku chinna appudu meer shop ki vellada amma exam ante oka basket lo eggs vetti isukochadu cover la endu iskaram pagli potey ani sare anyways adi different so atla structure egg basket topography are called nothing but what there drumlins now how drumlins are ఏ డైరెక్షన్ లో అయితే ఐస్ మూవ్ అవుతుందో అటు సైడ్ స్మూత్ ఉంటుంది కొంచెం ఫస్ట్ సైడ్ అప్ స్ట్రీమ్ సైడ్ ఏమో ఎత్తు ఉంటుంది డౌన్ స్ట్రీమ్ సైడ్ స్మూత్ ఉంటుంది ఇట్లా స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఫామ్ అవుతుంది హౌ దిస్ స్ట్రక్చర్స్ ఆర్ ఫామ్ సో వెన్ ద గ్లేషియర్ ఇస్ మూవింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ క్యారీ సెడిమెంట్స్ అలాంగ్ విత్ ఇట్ ఓకే ఇఫ్ దెర్ ఈస్ ప్రీ ఎగ్జిస్టింగ్ ఎనీ ఎలివేటెడ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ లెట్స్ ఇమాజిన్ the glacier is moving like this and beneath it you have sediments so already if there is only any small elevated structure like this what happens when the glacier moves all the sediments are deposited here and glacier will move from this area now it looks like an egg basket structure so this is called egg basket topography so for what are drumlins drumlins are egg basket topography how they are formed by the deposition of glaciers clear okay so what what happens here so some drumlins have a rock core around so which టిల్ అక్యుములేట్స్ ఆల్రెడీ మరి గ్లేషియర్ మూవ్ అయ్యే పాత్ లో ఒక రాక్ లాంటిది ఏమన్నా ఉంటే అదైతే టిల్ టిల్ అంటే ఏంది డిపాజిట్స్ ఆఫ్ గ్లేషియర్ క్యారీ చేస్తారు ఆ డిపాజిటెడ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ది ఓవర్ లోడ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ క్యారింగ్ ఇట్ విల్ డిపాజిట్ ఇన్ దట్ స్ట్రక్చర్ అండ్ గ్లేషియర్స్ విల్ మూవ్ ఆన్ ఇట్ అండ్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఎలాంగేటెడ్ స్ట్రక్చర్ లైక్ దిస్ లుక్ లైక్ అన్ ఎగ్ బాస్కెట్ టోపో ఓకే సో వెన్ ఎవర్ యూ రైట్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఇన్ మెయిన్స్ రిలేటెడ్ టు జోగ్రఫీ ఆల్వేస్ రిమంబర్ geography answer has two eyes one eyes is content second eyes is diagram okay so that's why i'm really giving this diagrams with you in ppt best exam student it's like basket problem okay till is nothing but the glacial sediments carried by which called glacial till like this okay right so this is about glacial landforms so this is the first session that is glacial landforms now we will move to the next that is karst topography so two topics are left that is karst topography and uh, marine topography okay so time is done then we have other class right so in next class we will discuss marine and marine landforms the marine landforms and karst topography clear 
so once again if you want to just look at the three ones erosional landforms what are the erosional structures here what is erosional landform first is cirques okay artists arids sorry arids okay and pyramidal peak or horns then u shaped valley hanging valley okay fissures fissures okay ronchi mountain one side upstream side smooth downstream side hard and the plucking is done so it is rough moraines what are this for in that the glacier tills if it deposits on sides thermal moraines uh, end thermal moraines in between sides lateral moraines in between median end thermal moraines next outwash plains okay at the foot of the glacial mountains you can see this outwash plain whatever the till it is carried by the glacier and it is spread in that area by glacial fluvial structure forming outwash plains like this then we have discussed about kettles basically they are from depressions formed by the ice of the glacier and around it depression is cut is cut about long widening ridges of stratified sand and gravel sand and gravel means small pebbles and all okay so when the glacier moves in the path along the path it will forms the long ridges like this then drumlins drumlins are nothing are also also called as egg basket topography so what when when this kind of structures are formed when the glacier moves along with the tills so wherever it struck by the hard rock all the dip, uh, the deposition is done around the rock forming an elongated structure like this called as drumlins okay then we have discussed about tills tills are tills are nothing but a depositional Uh, the sediments carried by the glacier is called till so here in tills you find sand gravel boulders like this okay so, so sometimes this kind of big big boulders are carried by ice the glaciers and it will deposited then ice melts from that region so, so that's why in between the trees also thick trees also you can find sometimes rocks like this the rocks ever rocks this much petle do glaciers deposition okay so that is about the glacial landforms so in the next class we'll discuss about karst topography and marathon thank you